Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Hello, it is morning for me, but today's video is a vlog. It is November 1st, which means, drum roll, it is Christmas. Merry Christmas. Look, I love Thanksgiving. I really do. I really do, but decorating for Christmas, like 25 days or a month or whatever it is, it's not enough, okay? So I'm decorating a little bit today. I don't know if I'll put the tree up today, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make breakfast, get some coffee, take down the Halloween decorations, and then I have lunch with somebody, and then I have to go get the groceries. So we'll see how much I get done today. But regardless, this vlog will just be me decorating for Christmas. So let's get into it. just ate and still working on my coffee, but I'm about to go take down. Bless you. I'm about to go take down the Halloween decorations, but funny story. So I bought like two bags of candy. So there was like, I think 105 pieces total out of, you know, with the two. And we had literally like almost no trick or treaters. We had like maybe five to seven groups or kids come up, whatever. So we were like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much candy left over. But then when my husband brought the candy in last night, <laughs> there was none left. And uh, so we looked at our ring camera and this like group of kids came by around like 10, like that's really late. Um, and they took the rest of it, but at least they didn't take my bucket because my bucket is really cute. So at least they didn't take that. But I just thought that that was funny, but like, I'm fine with it. Some people would be upset, but. We didn't need all the leftover candy here anyways. I didn't want it. So I'm glad that hopefully their their parents were okay with their sugar high. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna go take down the decorations and I'll see y'all in a second. So my friend had to reschedule our lunch. So we're gonna go next week, which means today I have pretty much all day. I'm going to pick up the groceries at 2.30. So I'll bring y'all along with me to do that. And then I think I'll probably decorate for maybe put the tree up or something like that tonight, but we'll see. But um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm about to go put out just a couple of outdoor signs and stuff. Um, but I also wanted to say I used to be that person that waited until after Thanksgiving to start decorating. But since I got married, I'm like... We have a fake tree and like it's just so easy to put up and so um i just i decorate early now because i'm just like a month isn't long enough and it makes me happy okay like i used to be like oh i'll be respectful and wait till after thanksgiving and now i'm like no i'm older and it makes me happy so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna decorate so um yeah if you're like me comment below let me know when you decorate so this is a new sign. I actually, my mom got it for me last year. It's so cute, but I couldn't fit it in my car. So um, I couldn't bring it back. And so this year I can put it out on my porch, but I have another sign. I'm gonna find it in my, our little front closet really quick and I'll show y'all. It's really cute too. And here's the other one. It's super cute as well. So I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put these because I don't know if I wanna put them beside each other or we'll just see. And I already put our wreath back on, so that's good. Okay, here's an update. So I decided to put the merry and bright one right there. And then we have the Noel one right here. I don't wanna show my house number, so. And then these pumpkins are about to be gone. And then I also wanna buy a little cute doormat. So those will all be 
in the works and then trying not to show our house number but we have these cute little icicles or i guess sorry snowflakes and they do light up at night and they're really cute and i'm about to add some lights for these bushes so stay tuned okay so this is where we're at with the lights i'm gonna have to have my husband look at it a little later and make sure that because there's two sets and they're kind of overlapping which is fine but i need to figure out where to plug them in it so that they can go together if that makes sense but yeah i'll show you all all of this whenever it's like darker out so that y'all can see the full effect but right now i'm gonna take a little break from decorating i have to go pick up the groceries in like a little over an hour so i have a little bit of time to just chill and then I want to decorate some of the inside and I say I'm gonna put the tree up tonight um but I want to have a glass of wine and watch a Christmas movie while I'm doing that to you know it's the vibe so um I'm gonna wait a little bit to do the inside decorations but yeah I'll probably see y'all when I'm about to leave to get the groceries Okay, I am at the store pickup now, hoping nobody sees me recording, but at this point, I'm kind of like, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just dropped off the pumpkins at this lady's house, They're like in our next door app. She was like, oh, I have like a, a pumpkin rescue, or a pumpkin rescue, a pig rescue, and they would love your uncut or unpainted pumpkins. And we didn't get to carve them this year, so I just dropped them off at her house. And now I'm at the store, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm back from the store and I'm gonna make a quick little snack. It is just bananas with peanut butter in the middle. You make a little sandwich and you dip them into the into chocolate and then you freeze them. But I'm excited. I'll try to record some for y'all so y'all can see. I forgot to show y'all what the bananas turned out like, but I already ate three, <laughs> but I only made six, so I'll show y'all. Okay, I ate the ones that looked better, but you know what? They tasted good, so now I'm going to pour my glass of wine, and it is that time. We're going to start decorating the inside of the house and put the tree up. I've decided that I'm going to put the tree up but put the ornaments on tomorrow. Going to do that, and then I also need to make dinner here in a little bit, but it's right at five o'clock on the dot. So that's good. Also, this sign right here is so cute, but I leave it up year round. So technically, that's already done in the house. So um, now I just have a couple signs that I'll show y'all here in a second. So we have this little sign and this sign that I will put up. Then we have this cute sign and then this thing that we can put up. Okay, got my rosé and my cute little anti-sippy cup wine that my sister got me. And I lit this candle called Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works. It smells so nice and it's not too strong either. So here is our cute little stocking area. I believe Maples is at my parents' house. Pretty sure, but I might find it in our 
closet. And if I do, I'll show y'all, but it's really cute. And then I put this here, the ho, ho, ho there just for now. And then this one there. So ignore the TV, but this is what it looks like for right now. I am about to cook dinner. I haven't put the tree up yet, but I was waiting till after dinner because I didn't want to start and then have to make dinner. Um, so I'm making a like cheesy, I think it's called like cheesy taco pasta on Pinterest, but it's pretty much just ground beef. But actually, this is the first time I'm using ground turkey because it's a little healthier. So ground turkey, and then you're supposed to put onions in it, but I don't like onions, so that's a no. <laughs> I'm like the pickiest eater ever. Um, but so it's ground beef or turkey, and then medium pasta shells and then put like heavy whipping cream in there and it's really good you make it in the instant pot if you have an instant pot totally recommend it i'll link it down below so y'all can check it out and you can make it with that one i'm sure but um we like to use vodka sauce instead of marinara sauce and it makes it so freaking good and then here's our pasta shells that we use so I'm gonna make that. I'm probably not gonna do a montage, but I'll show y'all what it looks like. And then we're gonna make some cheesy bread. So stay tuned. Here is what the pasta looks like. It's so good. We just ate, but it was really yummy. And here is the bread. We love this cheesy bread, but these little cheese bites are from Trader Joe's. And I like these, but Ian, my husband prefers these. Okay, so this is our little bush with the lights on it, and then these are our little snowflakes, and it looks so cute all together when it gets dark. Okay, so now it is time to put up the Christmas tree and watch my favorite Christmas movie or have it on in the background. Stop right here and comment below what you think my favorite Christmas movie is. <laughs> um... I have a, all the Christmas movies are so good, but there's one that I will just watch every single year on repeat and like my sister does as well. So, um, unless you're my sister, cause you know the answer girl, <laughs> comment below and I want to see what y'all say before I reveal it. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. Okay. Here's the reveal of my favorite movie. The Polar Express, literally so good. It's my fave. Oh, I just dropped the remote. But anyways, now I'm gonna get the tree out and assemble it. Okay, here's what we're working with. It's really not that hard to put together, but let's do it. I love that the tree topper is already on it, on the top piece, makes it easier for me. <laughs> fluffing it out. Okay, so we need to turn the tree to where the topper faces this way. But like, honestly, I'm really easy to put up. Okay, so I found the tree skirt, and here we are. So this is all I'm gonna do for tonight. Need to fix this, but I think I'm gonna have to have my husband do that. So that'll do it for the decorations today. Tomorrow, I am hoping to get the ornaments on the tree, and I'm also hoping, sorry, the background is really loud. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm hoping to make like a TJ Maxx run or something. Um, because that would be great if I could find some affordable, if you will, uh, Christmas decorations. So, like I said, that'll do it for today. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to update y'all. It is the next day. Um, so an update on the Christmas TJ Maxx run. I'm actually going to do that on Saturday. So this video might be up a little day later. It might be up on Sunday instead of Saturday. 
Um, but if I can get it edited, that'd be great. But I also kind of want to show you all everything. So maybe I'll make a two part series on this one. We'll kind of just see. Okay, my phone ran out of storage yet again, but I just upgraded my storage. I don't even care. I'm paying the $2.99 to have extra storage. Literally not that much money at all for how much you're getting. Anyways, so like I said, I really want to get a video, video up for y'all on the right day, but I also want to make sure that the content is good. So just stay tuned. Um, like I said, maybe it'll just go up a day later, um, but definitely want to get something up at least. So um, yeah, that's all. I have a Bible study to go to this evening and then not really anything going on tomorrow or Friday. But the reason I'm going shopping Saturday is because I have a friend that's going to come over and we're going to watch the Tech versus TCU game. And then we're going to go Christmas shopping together. So we'll just kind of see what happens. But yeah, that's a little update for y'all. Hey y'all. So it is the next morning and my friend is about to come over because we're going to go to Starbucks and get a Christmas drink because it's their first day of Christmas drinks. So very excited for that. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. I was going to get a peppermint mocha and now I'm like, I don't know if I want a hot drink. And then I feel like if it's ice, it just tastes like toothpaste. I don't know. Maybe not. But anyways, I found a couple more decorations I was going to put up. This is the little Christmas countdown, and then this is going to go, like, over the stocking thing. I'll just show y'all whenever it's done. Um, also, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit more content for this video, and then I'm going to end the video, and then when I go to, like, TJ Maxx and stuff, I'll just do, like, a TJ Maxx haul, like a little Christmas haul, and then also, or depending on how much I get, but I'll show y'all what I get. And I'm also getting my hair done on Tuesday. So I'll kind of like combine those together. And then this weekend, I have a little fun tailgate party because Texas Tech and TCU were playing. I think I mentioned that the other day um, or yesterday. So I'm going to a tailgate that my friend is putting on in the morning. So I'll kind of do the tailgate slash Christmas haul slash finishing decorating for Christmas slash getting my hair done for the next video. So that'll be good. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, let's get these put up. Okay, Maple's very interested, but we have a little Christmas countdown. And then I just added this little tinsel. It just looks so cute. Maple has a stocking, but I think my parents have it. So it's not here. That's why she doesn't have one here. <laughs> I really need to order her one for here but I just haven't done it. But my mom likes to keep them because she likes to fill the stockings and we're gonna be with them on Christmas this year anyways. So it makes sense to just have her keep her stocking. She's fine, she doesn't know a difference. So I wish we had one though. I might order like a cheap other one just to have for here, but we'll see. But yeah, I think that's all for now. I think I might add decorating the tree in this video, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow or maybe later today. I don't know. I don't have much going on, so just stay tuned. But I definitely wanna add that in this video. So, hey y'all, it is the next day and it is raining. Um, it just started raining, but it's supposed to like sun, like hardcore thunderstorm later. So I am running to the store really quick to get like literally three, okay, four things. <laughs> Um, and then I need to run to Ulta. So I think I'm going to go to Ulta first because I need some more, um, serum and then I'm running to Trader Joe's. So I will attempt to record a little montage for y'all. And then, so it's going to be raining. I'm going to decorate the tree today. So that'll be in this video and then I'll end it. And then the next video will be a good one. So see y'all soon. <music> I just made a Chick-fil-A run 
And this is literally the busiest Chick-fil-A I've ever seen. I thought, I was like, oh, it's only like 1140. Like it's like not during the lunch rush. It is so crowded. There's like, I turned on the, at the light and to get in and there was like people, like five people waiting just to turn into the drive-thru. So I turned around and there's another entrance and then, okay, my phone cut me off. But anyways, so I did curbside pickup and that's what I was going to do anyways, but I couldn't get in because the line was so long. So I came to the other entrance, got in, did curbside, selected curbside pickup and it was like, oh, due to inclement weather, we don't offer that. So then I was like, okay, I guess I'll go pick it up inside. So anyways, but I got the food, you know, just thankful. Um, and it's the Lord's chicken. So after I eat it, I'll feel better. It'll be fine. But um, yeah, so just went to Trader Joe's Old 10 Chick-fil-A. Now we're gonna go home and eat and literally do nothing but decorate the tree today. Okay, the time has come to decorate the tree. I think that's about to start like pouring rain and thunderstorming. So it's really dark in the house. So if the lighting is weird, that's why. But um, I'll try to open some windows. But I wanted to show you all the ornaments that we have. So here's what we're working with. Maple is very interested. These are, okay, I think these are all from Target, all the ornaments. These cute little things, you put them in the tree, you stick them in there. And these were, I think, from Kirkland's. No, these are from Kirkland's, I know. And then I wanted to show you all some cute little ornaments that we have. So this one is from, this is from one of my friends. This is like years ago. This is like from when I was, I think, like a senior in high school, but I still have it and I use it every year. It's so cute. And we have this one, I think, let me think. I know we have two ornaments that are like Mr. and Mrs., but one, uh, this one is from my mom. And then we have another one, I'll have to find it. Oh, here it is. And this is one that I ordered. And it's like our first Christmas together. Yeah, our first Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Like how cute is that? And then one of my favorites, this is Maple. This is like actually a picture of her. This is her and it has her name on the back. I love it. I got this off of Etsy. I will try, oh, and this one's from Etsy. So I will try to link both of these. Hopefully I'll be able to find them and I'll link them below. phone is being so weird like it keeps cutting off my recordings like oh it might cut off here it's really annoying and my airdrop won't work to go to my laptop so I can edit this so I was like okay let me update my phone won't let me update it like what is going on but I'm gonna try to record as much as I can um for y'all and just hope that it works
Okay, y'all, um, that is all for now. My phone keeps going off. I don't know what's wrong with it, so I'm gonna end the video. This is not all of the ornaments, but that's all we're doing for now. I absolutely love these cute little things from Kirkland's. They are so cute, but thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you can come back next week for a super fun video. But again, thank you for watching, and before you leave, Comment below when you decorate for Christmas because I want to know. But thank you so much again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.